Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining how a nitro engine works um, and, you know, therefore explaining how a two cycle or two stroke engine works. Uh, let's take these shims off. So that... Alright, so you have the piston, the sleeve, crankcase, head, glow plug, crank shaft, connecting rod. And you have the wrist pin, which keeps the, which is a pin that goes through the piston and the connecting rod, keeping them together. And then you have the carburetor usually up here. And then you either have a drill start, easy start, pull start, or just a plain back plate back here. And then you'll have your flywheel and your clutch. All right, so how does it work? So obviously when you pull your pull start or, you know, whatever, use to start it uh, when you activate your starter um, that connects to this little tab onto here unless it's a bump start then it connects to the flywheel and it spins the motor over really fast so that it can start uh, but how it works is the piston is going to travel up all right and this creates a suction like a vacuum because it needs to fill in this air and so it opens up when it goes up it opens up this port down here you can see it open and close right now so as it goes up it opens up that port and what that does is lets fuel and air through here from the carburetor oh and I forgot to mention um, uh, the exhaust helps with the fuel flow too pressure builds up in the exhaust and it goes through this tube into the tank sending fuel more efficiently to the engine and that's why you see this little tube on the exhaust pipes and then you know there's a bunch of fuel down here floating around so then engine uh, comes down and it uh, as it comes down it's releasing exhaust gases through this exhaust port right here. So the piston, it seals it up for the combustion. And then as it comes down, it lets it all out. Um, all right, so then as your piston is coming down, it does that, but this exhaust port is sealed up from the rest of the engine so that it can't leak and then it comes down and this creates pressure because the piston's coming down and since this is all sealed off and since that closed so it's all sealed off and that so it's creating a lot of pressure and this pressurizes the fuel air mixture and then as the piston goes up there's all these valves or not valves sorry uh, ports on the cylinder sleeve and uh, for this part I'm just going to take my piston off so that I can show you guys better um, so so as it's coming down pressurizes and this is the exhaust port and this is an intake port so exhaust comes out first and then the pressure builds up and eventually this port opens, this intake port, and that allows, and there's a hole in the engine, or not a hole, but you know, a drilled spot right in there that allows the fuel to go up into this port, goes up to the top of the piston, and then piston rises back up again sucking more fuel in as it's doing this and then it creates pressure and you have your glow plug up here with your igniter on it uh, and it and what that does is it is it makes it red hot down here so you got heat and then when the head is on the engine you have compression because it's compressing all that air So the head would be up here, and so it's compressing it. 
Um, and then it creates combustion because of the compression, fuel, air, and the heat from the glow plug. And then it explodes or combusts, comes down, and then exhaust port opens, lets the exhaust out, and it and then it's pressurizing the fuel that's down in the crank again, lets it in here, and it starts all over again, keeping your engine, uh, you know, running and getting a cons constant fuel flow. So then there's the carburetor that would be here, but I have it off right now. Um, so the carburetor limits how much fuel and air go in, so that way you can have you can give it throttle and then you can let it idle without a carb, which some airplane engines don't have a carb. Um, it'll just be full throttle or idle the entire time and you can't adjust the RPMs while you're driving and that would kind of suck. Um, so that's how it works. And then you might be wondering, well, I take my glow plug out. Uh, I take my glow plug out um, after the engine starts and it keeps running but if the glow plug isn't giving heat to that anymore or the glow starter sorry isn't giving heat to the glow plug anymore then how does it keep going so what happens is additives in the nitro fuel itself um they keep it red hot um because of a chemical reaction so that'll keep red hot um once it's you know going um, but you just need the starter to get it hot so that the fuel can combust and keep it hot so that's pretty much how an engine works that's all that I can think of um, and it's pretty it's pretty cool how these things work and it's good to know how they work, especially if you want to modify them in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was able to help you out. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and um, I'll see you guys all in the next one.